Here we will draw the motor component of the thoracolumbar sympathetic nervous system. Across the top, label nucleus, ganglion, and effector tissue. First draw an outline of the spinal cord, and then show that the sympathetic origins are in the intermedial lateral cell column from T1 to L2. Next, draw the paravertebral chain. It resembles a string of pearls and lies just lateral to the vertebral column. We draw it as four circles and a long tail because of the 24 sympathetic ganglia, only four are clinically worth specifying. The superior cervical ganglion, which sits at the top of the chain, the middle cervical ganglion beneath it, the inferior cervical ganglion beneath it, and the first thoracic ganglion beneath it. The inferior cervical and first thoracic ganglia combine to form the stellate ganglion. The somatotopy of these ganglia is fairly broad. Fibers from the rostral intermedial lateral cell column synapse in rostral ganglia, and fibers from the caudal intermedial lateral cell column synapse in caudal ganglia. Show the postganglionic fibers from the superior cervical ganglion terminate in the head and neck, the C1 through C4 dermatomal level. In the spinal cord, further specify the ciliospinal center of budge, which spans from C8 to T2 in the intermedial lateral cell column. Show supraspinal input from the posterior lateral hypothalamus descend onto the ciliospinal center of budge. Let's address the general anatomy of sympathetic innervation to the face, since Horner syndrome is so important. Draw a representative preganglionic fiber exit the spinal cord from the ciliospinal center of budge and ascend the sympathetic chain to the superior cervical ganglion. Paravertebral masses such as apical lung tumors such as Pankos tumor interrupt these exiting preganglionic sympathetic fibers. Now draw a representative postganglionic sympathetic fiber from the superior cervical ganglion. Show this fiber ascend the common carotid artery and continue up the internal carotid artery into the cranium. A dissection of either the common or internal carotid arteries will cause Horner syndrome. Then indicate the postganglionic fibers from the middle cervical and stellate ganglia terminate in the arm. Within the sympathetic system, both divergence and convergence of preganglionic sympathetic fibers occur. Indicate that divergence is the multilevel synapsis of different preganglionic fibers originated from the same spinal level. Preganglionic fibers synapse in ganglia at their level of origin or at levels above or below along the sympathetic chain. In contrast, show that convergence is the confluence of fibers from different preganglionic levels. Now show that the remaining thoracic, lumbosacral, and coccygeal fibers synapse in thoracoabdominal targets. For example, thoracic postganglionic sympathetic fibers either join a spinal nerve or project alone to thoracic targets, as cervical or thoracic, cardiac or pulmonary nerves. Next we will draw the other types of sympathetic nervous system fibers. First draw a bundle of preganglionic sympathetic fibers circumventing the paravertebral ganglia and synapsing directly in the adrenal gland. Note the adrenal medulla is derived from neural crest cells and it mainly releases epinephrine which is in the same class of neurotransmitters that the other postganglionic sympathetic neurons release. Next we will show the splanchnic nerves innervate the four prevertebral ganglia which span from the lower thoracic to the sacral vertebral column. The prevertebral ganglia are, from superior to inferior, the celiac, aorticorenal, superior mesenteric, and inferior mesenteric ganglia. Indicate the celiac ganglion innervates the spleen and foregut derivatives, the aorticorenal ganglion innervates the renal vessels, the superior mesenteric ganglion innervates the midgut derivatives, and the inferior mesenteric ganglion innervates the hindgut derivatives, urinary and reproductive organs. These are also the target organs of the parasympathetic branches of the vagus nerve and the S2 to S4 sacral spinal cord intermedial lateral cell column which demonstrates that most visceral targets receive opposing parasympathetic and sympathetic innervation. 
Those targets that receive only sympathetic innervation are the blood vessels to the skeletal muscle and skin, sweat glands, and hair follicles. This concludes our drawing of the motor component of the thoracolumbar sympathetic nervous system.